Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about the best AI image generator website, Shaker AI. Complete tutorial 2024. Now what makes Shaker AI different from any other generation AI? So for this one, take note, it has so much, even thousands, literally thousands of models to work with. Take note guys, this is actually a free AI which actually has a paid subscription. So let's talk about the membership for now. For the membership, you're going to have this choosing. You have the free trial, which gives you 200 fast tokens, resets once per day. Take note, you have 200 tokens to work with every day. For the 8 buck a month, that is actually for the yearly plan. If you go to the month, that is still $10 per month. So these are the differences, and I'll see you once back on the dashboard. So this is pretty straightforward. You can choose all of the models to work with here. And by the way guys, just want to let it out, out there, for the paid plan, they have 5,000 exclusive models. Take note, those are globally exclusive models, meaning Shaker only has those 5,000 models to work with for the paid plan. Anyway, we still have so much more to work here for the free plan. So we're going to utilize that one for this video. So of course, first thing to work on here is choose a model to work with. These are actually a pretty good number of models and if you'll notice they're mostly in anime some of them are laura that i've worked with before laura excel you can of course categorize them on this option for example you want e-commerce and visual design you want fantasy you want game design right here you want realistic or you can switch on this three you have highest popularity you have newest and then you have the most recommended for this and you also have for everyone or you who you followed and this one is basically the types so these are some of the models to work with we have base models you have members only you have model application and then you have so much more so those are the ways to filter which kind of models you can look for but for me i think this one right here the filter right here is actually good enough you can really narrow it down which one you're looking for so i think i'm gonna remain here for the fantasy because i love sci-fi of course guys almost forgot about this most powerful tool here so we have a search bar and basically if i type in anime here click on enter it will give me this results basically there are animes which is actually 842 models as of now last time i checked about this one they only have 500 or 300 i think so just choose which one you want to work with i think i'm gonna go with this one super control map you can get delicate, but this is for exclusive, so that's for paid plan. Let's look for something that's actually for free. I think I'm gonna go with this one, since I love Pokemon, and I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Now before we get inside the editing platform, you're gonna have this description of this model to work with. So basically you have this um, parametrics, and before they have this metrics here, like a benchmark. So this is license, can be generated online, cannot be merged. You'll know the dimensions and basically this is the creator you can follow it or know if you like and simply click on run model and i'll see you once inside now welcome back to the video so right up front we have two images to work with now before we get into the working or editing of the images let's first create our own right so with this one look for this prompt bar so be supposedly it should be around on the bottom section or on the top right section you'll notice right here let's start creating so i'm going to type in here a pretty so worry about that i can spell pretty so that will be a pretty woman inside a forest anime style big eyes and now before i get into it or click on generate let's look for the metrics here so the one i'm using for the model is going to be this one you can enhance the model if you want choose which one you want as a second model to enhance your first one that's how powerful Shaker AI is. If you want an image references, you can also use this one. But for now, I'm going to settle with no image references. For the image size, of course, this is very customary. If you want one by one or four by three, that will be by your own choosing. Of course, guys, you can also change the image number. You can choose one, two, or three here. Now notice, if I choose one here, it will give me the four generation method. If I choose two, it will deduct my tokens for 8 that is actually multiplied each time you choose an image number and parameters these are the methods they have so much here so i'm not gonna go 
into details here. When I don't want to bore you. I'm going to default this one and the sampling steps are right here. And for the best one for me is negative prompt. So for the negative prompt, just type in whatever you don't want to see on the AI. For example, blurry, noisy, something like that. How about pixelated? I think those are the things that I don't want to see on my AI. And I think this are good enough. And now, I'm going to click on generate. And I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now with this one, this is going to be our two results. So it's actually quite big. Let me just zoom it out just a little bit. So we can really see our Canva. Now if you notice on the upper left section, there is an option where you can choose what's going on here. For example, you can zoom in, zoom out. This is going to be the gallery, but let me just remove that one for now. You can also change the orientation here. The shortcuts are right here. So you can pause the video right now and check on the shortcuts. So you wouldn't have a hard time looking and preparing on this Canva. And what I noticed about this one is, if I move this one on the upper section, move this one on the lower section, and paste this one aligned with each other, it has an infinite Canva method. Actually, this is the first and only one I can see that does this. It's actually a pretty awesome device given that this is a free trial application. Now, if you zoom in just a little bit, let me just zoom in just a little bit right there so you can guys see the features. If I hover my mouse on each one of the images, you'll see a white um, prompt bar here. So you can have a very subtle changes. You can have a reprompt this. You can have a references. You can even download this image. So if I click on that one, it can be downloaded on my PC with no problem at all. So here it is. It has successfully downloaded on my computer. Easy as that with no hassle. By the way guys, I almost forgot about this one. Now for example, you don't know what was model or what model is used on this image. Simply click on this option right here. It will scan the image and it will give you what kind of model one was used. As you can see right there, it's going to be white city master to this simple mix. For this one, let's try this one. As you can see right there, this is Ultra Citron Anime Treasure. Perfect, right? There is also the resolution of each of the images. If you click on this one right here, this is the generation info. This is the prompt that was used. Sorry about that. Let me just remove it. So these are the negative prompts that were used. Everything you need to know about this image are going to be right here. Best thing about this one, you can copy each one of them by that icon right there. Or just basically send to generator and it will generate using these parameters. How awesome is that, right? Of course, guys, I almost forgot about this one also. So that has an option for reference. If I click on this one right now, it will go on this option where it we can add an image references. So for example, I can choose which part or which mode to be used on this one or simply remove it. Easy as that. All right, now let's focus on the tools on the above section. We have in paint, upscale, remove BG or background. You have remover, crop and out paint. This is actually a beta phase as of now, and I think not everyone has this just yet. It's being slowly rolled out to the public. Now, of course, let's try the first one. Let me just zoom in just a little bit, and then move it right here. Now, let's focus on this image. So for this one, let's try the in-painting method. If I click on this one right here, it's currently segmenting the object. So what does segmenting mean? Segmenting is basically vectorizing the image. I have a video about vectorization, so please check it out. Now with this one, you can select which part of the image you want to edit. For example, the iris, the lashes right there, the eyebrow, the hair, even this little earring. Now I'm going to focus on the eyes first. If I click on that one, click on this one right here. And then I change my in-painting prompt. For example, a pretty lady with big red eyes, for example. I'm going to type in red eyes right there. I did not change the whole prompt, but added the color of word red. And with this one, I can now simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now what I love this one is you can check what is kind or what is basically the new generation is. You'll notice from the blue eyes right now it's going to be red. And if you want to send this to the canvas, simply click on this button. You're going to have this option right here. To zoom out, just click on this one and basically you're good to go. Now let's forward and check on now the upscaling option. So let me just move that one right here. Let's focus on this new image we have. So for the upscaling, select this one, go to upscale, 
and with this you can select if you can be two times or twice thrice or four times the current solution i'm gonna go with two times right here or you can click on custom you can select the parameters but everything here is i'm gonna remain on default you can also add your prompt here so this is the first upscale feature where you can still add your prompt so this will cost 30 and i'll see you once it's here now welcome back to the video now again guys what i love about shaker is gonna be this option where you can compare so this is the original this is the new one it made it more realistic if you're gonna ask me and please take note about the red color of the eyes now they're much more detailed let me try to zoom in this one if we can really um appreciate this so this is the previous one and this is the new one awesome right it even has those pores or sweat if you're gonna ask me now that's really awesome even me, I'm really personally astonished or amazed on this AI. So again, if you're satisfied with this, of course, click on Send to Canva. You're going to have it right here. It's an upscale version of what's currently you have here. Easy as that. Now, of course, let's try the Remove Background option. I'm going to use this green-haired girl. Zoom in just a little bit. Go right there. Click Remove Background. And that is basically it. You don't have to change any parameters because it's just basically removing the background now this is useful if you want to paste this one on other images and you can use it as a silhouette awesome right now let's try the next one there is an option here for a remover i think i'm going to use this one just zoom in just a little bit here focus on the image click remover and now i can remove whatever i want here let's try this lasso or i think this is an earring that's a lasso I'm just going to select this entirely and basically click on remove. Now it's currently being removed. It will take a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now this is successfully removed. If we want to compare it, let me just exit here. Zoom in just a little bit right there. Go right there. Now zoom in just a little bit more so you guys can compare it. And there is the differences. The earring is not actually there, but there is still just a part of it, but the entirety is gone. Awesome, right? Take note, guys, this is everything here is entirely so free so far. Let's try the crop option. So we have this one. Basically, you can crop everything you want here. So for example, I just want to focus on her face and then basically click on generate right now or crop this one. And you'll be good to go. Let's try this one. Now, welcome back to the video. So we have this new crop image. How awesome is that, right? Now let's use this outpaint. So basically what outpaint does is adding stuff on the background. So take note, you don't have to change the entire prompt. Just add the stuff you want to add on the background. For example, I'm going to type in dragons in the background. Let's try this one. So welcome back to the video. Now this is going to be the new result. This is the original and this is the new image. I know it's a bit different from the original, that's why this feature right here, Outpaint, is still on Battle Phase. They're still testing the area here, and not everyone has this option just yet. It's still slowly being rolled out to the public. Take note about that one, okay? So you might have this one or not, because right now there was a previous feature here called Restyle. And right now it's not currently available, maybe there's a maintenance right there, but Restyle basically changed your prompt to a new prompt right there. Now welcome back to the video. So right now, this is going to be your output. Left side is the original, right side is basically the new one. And I know it's still going to be a little bit different. Because right here, the outpaint option, as you can see right here, is still on better phase. So there's still going to be a little bit more bug and tweaks to work on. And right here, you might not see this on your end or a different region. Because this is still not still available in the public all around the world. It's still slowly being rolled out to the public. Same goes for the restyle option. There should be an option here that says restyle. As you can see right here, they just removed it because they are now working on it right now. Not quite sure when will they bring it back, but basically, what restyle does is changing the model. For example, this is your image, right? Focus on this one. And then if you click on restyle, you can just change the prompt, change everything inside it, but maintaining the model. Pretty awesome, right? basically that's it that is shaker for you and what i love about this one is everything we did here starting from scratch is basically entirely for free so thank you so much for watching 
please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.